Welcome to my craft area. I'm Anna Hellman and I'm so glad you're here with me today. Let's look at today's project. Do you like dragonflies? We have the neatest new set called Dragonfly Garden and my favorite part about this is it comes with a punch. Quick and easy to use, uh, you know, faster and simpler than dies and it's an option for anyone who doesn't have a die cutting machine. So I wanted to show you some cards today made with this beautiful Dragonfly Garden set and we're actually going to make two very, very simple cards. I do like to scale it back sometimes and do some really easy cards for those of you who are pinched on time or just learning to make cards. So let's first look at the sample cards I have because I have these three and then I have a few more as well. So I'll show you these three first. These are three that I was able to make during one of our Stampin' Up! On Stage events this past fall, which was a lot of fun. So this is the paper that coordinates with the set that I used on these, the designer paper. I love the colors in these and they have really pretty greetings. You are an inspiration. Thank you for your kindness. And I used the you are an inspiration one on this one again. So these are three samples. Now let's look at some others. I have a couple that I received in one of my team's card swaps here not too long ago. I want to give credit to Gail and Tanya for these cards because these are absolutely beautiful. Again, I love the colors on these, that honey color. I think that's Bumblebee is the name of it. And then this one with all the golds, just gorgeous. And then here are two more. Now here is one I'm making for my upcoming stamp camp which is very simple. You just stamp that soft suede flower all the way across the background and then stamp a couple of the dragonflies, punch them out. This one involves a little bit of technique, but it's not hard at all. I made a video about this, so we'll link you to that if you're interested in taking a look at it. Now for today, we're going to make two very quick and easy ones. Just with some white paper, and what I want to do first on this one is stamp, I think I'll actually turn it this direction, stamp this pretty flower across the background. And I'm going to do this in a few different colors. I have some pear pizzazz, blushing bride, highland heather, and so saffron picked out here. And I have my chamois handy because I am going to need to clean off my stamp a few times. So I think first I'll do some of the pear pizzazz, get some green mixed throughout here. And something you may want to do, I like to do on cards like this, is to stamp a couple of times without re-inking to get that faded effect. So we'll put those there, clean off my stamp. Let's add some Blushing Bride. We'll add a tall one of that one. Each time I stamp off, I'm going to go lower. Uh, when you stamp wherever the edge of the card was, down here is still going to have the full ink and up here won't. So if I stamp again with this whole image on here, I'm going to see that line in what I'm stamping. So I just wanna make sure this is shorter than that first one I stamped so that I don't get that weird line. And actually, you can see a little bit, I did get a little line where it had gone off the edge over here. So um, that illustrates my point with that. I didn't even think about the edge, but with all these colors mixed together, it's not, not going to be noticeable at all. So there's some Blushing Bride. Let's add, I think this So Saffron color is going to look really pretty. Add it in here. Put one there, we'll put a short one here. And there, and I wanted to add in just a touch of the Highland Heather. I do like to do height variation. So this is, uh, everything so far was pretty tall. I'm going to keep these shorter. You can stamp over top of those however many times you want or add, you can stick with one color. You can do a few colors like I did, make them tall, short, play around with that because you can make some really pretty backgrounds just with this flower stamp. 
Okay, now we are going to stamp some dragonflies onto some white cardstock and punch them out. So I have not chosen my dragonfly color. Let's use, I think I am going to use shaded spruce here and fill it in with that. Well, let's stamp these first and then we'll decide on the filling color. So when I stamp these, I like to keep the tail down at the bottom edge of my paper. And when I line it up with my stamp or with my punch, you're going to see why that's important. Then just for fun, I'm going to use this other dragonfly too. We have two here. So we'll use both of them for a little variation in the pattern on their wings. Now we have a nice stamp that we can fill in the wings with that looks like this. So I just have to decide what color I want. Let's do that. I think I'll do one with the pear pizzazz and one with the so saffron. So I really like this wing stamp. It doesn't line up perfectly, but I really love the look it has. So you can actually use it on both sides, flip it over and use it on the right side and the left side. And now that we have those stamped, we'll punch them out. So here's where I mentioned it's good to put the tail at the bottom edge of your paper because when you line this up, that is how it is going to line up best. So you do get the little dragonfly as well, which is fun. If you punch these out of designer paper or add some color to those, they can be really pretty on your projects as well. So I am going to add these somewhere spread about, but I do want to add a greeting as well. So let's add the greeting right now. I have chosen the one that says, may all good things, may good things grow all year long. And I'm going to stamp this with shaded spruce. We'll stamp it right there. Add our dragonflies with a couple of dimensionals. And we have a quick and easy card using just white cardstock and a few colors of ink. So there is card number one. Now let's make a second one. And I've done a little bit of the prep work here. And this one actually will probably come together quicker than the other one. So what I'm going to do for the background of this one is stamp this little cluster of dragonflies across the background. And I think they look like they're flying this way. So I am going to stamp here. Now I wanna get some of these faded ones. So I am going to stamp a few different times before I re-ink. And I don't want this to be in a straight line. I want it to be a little jagged. So we'll do that for the cluster of dragonflies. Now I have two of these that I stamped onto vellum. I love vellum. It is so beautiful on your projects. So I stamped it on and now I'm trying to figure out which side. I stamped onto the top side and I did blot it a few times with a tissue to absorb some of the extra ink. You can either do that or use a heat tool to, to dry it because it does take a little while to dry and it can bleed on your vellum if you don't do that. So now I wanna add color to the wings, but I'm going to do this with my Stampin' Blends markers. I'm choosing these because they will dry a lot faster. And if you notice, I flipped it over so I had colored on the front side, or stamped, I'm sorry, and now I flipped it over to do this on the back side because if not, it may not play nice with the ink that, it, that is stamped there on the front. So I have a 
light mango melody blend and what color do we have here dark calypso coral I had a hard time picking colors i think it would be a lot of fun to play around with this and try out lots of different colors with this but for this time i chose mango melody and calypso coral So we'll get those colored in. I'm not being precise about this. I really like the, the casual look of it being a little bit messy. So stamp those. I am going to let that dry for a moment while I work on the greeting. So here is a one inch strip and I'm going to use the stamp that says, thank you for your kindness on this. Then I'm going to punch the end with the banners pick a punch to add a little banner to the end. I really like, this is just a nice simple way to add a greeting to your projects. So we'll punch that and got a little extra. My piece must have been a little over an inch wide. I had a little hanger on there, so we'll get rid of that. And I'll trim this off over here, I'll pop this up with some dimensionals, and then we can finish this up punching out our dragonflies. So I like this down here. Now let's punch these guys out. That card I had received from my team member, Tanya, the one with the gold, is the one that inspired me to try this vellum because I may not have thought of that otherwise. So I debated whether to put dimensionals on these, but I'm afraid the dimensionals may show through this vellum. They may not, but I haven't tried it. So instead, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there in the center and that way after it's dried, I can pop up the wings. And see how I want to put these on. I think we'll lay them like this. And I did grab some pearls to add a little bit of embellishment. So bring this other card back in. We'll add a little bit to it as well. Pearls and rhinestones are pretty much always good when you are looking for something a little bit extra to add to your projects. So we'll add three there and let's spread some around on this other card. Where do we want it? How about there? So there you go, two quick and easy, really beginning level cards with the Dragonfly Garden Suite. And here I'm gonna bring all of these cards back in so you can appreciate all of them because they are so pretty. And this is such a neat set. So if you're a Dragonfly lover, this may be a set you would like to add to your collection. Thanks so much for joining in today. For more information and links to the products used today, click in the video description box down below to visit my website. Make sure you also click down below to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell to receive notifications when I share new videos. I truly appreciate you being here as well as every like, share, and comment that I receive. I'll see you again next time when I'll be back helping you to hand make with love.